Now, uh, as we talked about earlier, uh, our friend Corey Zelnick, dear friend of mine and my wife, he um, he's a guy that's uh, done very well in this city in the real estate business, very, very well for himself. And uh, he now is one of the folks that is feeling the effects of what's going on with COVID. We were talking, Bernie and I, earlier about the real estate a deal here in the city. Uh, you are a commercial real estate guy. We've got friends who obviously are on the other side, which is residential. Uh, tell us, what's it been like the last couple of months? Well, it's been brutal. Um, I was, you guys had me on 90 days ago, and I told you how, how rough it has been, and it continues to be bad. Uh, they're looking at, and depending on whose statistics you follow, another 54 to 60% of the restaurants that are still open will go out of business. I think it's going to be more of that. Bernie. It's an opportunistic time, if you can. Right. If you right. can, this is right. this is the time. Uh, we have we have some clients that we represent that are trying to take advantage of the marketplace, um, and and th- those things are there. There are, there are conversations I'm having with other landlords that they would never have a conversation with me ever in the past, mm. putting forth proposals that would never be considered right, right, right in right. the garbage. But they have to look at it. They you, have to look at you it. You know, you mentioned the one thing about real estate is it's so individualized. Every single situation stands on its own. So. I, I've been through it. I'm doing this a long. I'm doing this a long time now. The fin- the various financial crises, nine eleven, things like that, and the city comes back. So I'm a believer, uh, Mike. We changed my company logo. We have a hashtag NYC forever. Not only that, but much like I do every morning outside on Third Avenue, Corey has taken to Instagram videos, Bernard, and they're all. He's like the new Anthony Robbins of real estate. Very inspirational. Like very it. positive. He, I mean, you, you do love this city. You'll never leave it. Oh, no. You'll never leave. Born and, ra- born and raised, you know, early, early years in Queens and then, then most of my life here in the city. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. You know, that optimism, positivity, he walks the walk, doesn't just talk the talk again. We were talking off the air in his personal life as well. So uh, I really, I admire that. Thank I you. like it a lot. And I, and I think there's some validity to it. I think the city will come back. It's just a matter of when. Hey, hey, this is going to be the longest stretch to a comeback that I think we've had. Spots yeah. where you and I have gotten very close, besides uh, the four of us, Jessica, your beautiful fiancé, and, and my wife, is um, we're both big sports fans, and specifically basketball fans, and you have been a season ticket holder, not just a season ticket holder, but by the way, sitting next to Patrick McEnroe and Steve Sharippa, right behind Mike Breen at Knickerbocker <laughs> Games at the Garden, and one of my, really one of the best nights I ever had with my family and son was when you gave us those Heat Nick tickets and Gabe had a chance to walk on the court for Dwayne Wade's last ever game at Madison Square Garden. So thank you for that. You're very welcome. Um, but now the Knickerbockers, uh, no fans this season. A young basketball team, new brand new coach, Tom Thibodeau. How about that? How about you? Are you renewing your tickets? Are you still uh, enthusiastic about Knicks basketball, or has this thing ruined that too? Well, no. This has. <laughs> This didn't ruin that. They, the next day. They helped ruin some of that. <laughs> See, you, you do look great, all kidding aside. So you've made it through the COVID uh, so far with flying colors. And we wish you the best of luck in your real estate business. And uh, for folks who would want to get in touch with you, if in fact uh, they are looking to do something, how do they do that? Well, I'm happy to help anybody. Um, uh, Corey Zelnick on Instagram. Uh, at Corey Zelnick on Twitter. But you also have your company has an Instagram. And we also have an Instagram, Zelnick Co. Right. Z-E-L-N-I-K-C-O. Which is pretty cool because you'll show your buildings across New York. And, and again, there's some inspirational stuff on there, too. Oh, absolutely. I have a, I have a, one, I have a wonderful squad that, that helps me and my uh, head of marketing, Stephanie. She's the, she's the best. She is great. And she makes it really happen visually. And we're trying to, we're trying to advance the business a little bit digitally and socially because things are changing that way. No yeah. doubt. Things are changing. Well, happy Hanukkah. And uh, enjoy the holiday season, and we love you, and good yeah. luck to you. And Godspeed, Corey. Thank you. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. Merry yeah. Christmas. All the best. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys and, yeah. we'll and see keep, the new year. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. New York City forever. New York like City it. forever. There like you have it, it folks. Like Corey it. Zelnick. Check him out at Zelnick CO. Also, if, in fact, you're looking to uh, get yourself a storefront here in